Welcome to our ultimate travel guide of things to do when visiting Bocas del Toro. I'm Layla of That Travel Fam. Welcome to our channel. In this episode, we'll cover five things to help you enjoy your trip to Bocas del Toro to the absolute fullest. We've got some great tips to cover with you today, so let's dive in. My first tip on this ultimate travel guide for Bocas del Toro is to check out the local restaurants. You'll find great food all throughout town from local cuisine to sushi, burgers, and pizza. Which, by the way, if you see this hot sauce around, make sure you give it a try. Chances are most places will have it and it goes great with lots of things. There's even a coffee shop and a local brewery in Bocas Town. You'll find all kinds of places to eat sprinkled around throughout the islands. Dine with your toes in the sand at Starfish Beach or while listening to the waves at Carinera Island. If you're not in the mood to eat out, don't worry. You'll have plenty of options for buying groceries to make your own delicious meals. Just make sure your lodging offers a place to cook before you book if that's going to be part of your vacation plan. Speaking of making your food, there are a few places you can go that offer an experience alongside a snack or a meal. We went to Up in the Hill, and let me just tell you, it was truly an eye-opening experience learning how one family has transformed this tiny plot in the Panamanian jungle into a place that makes agriculture sustainable without damaging the footprint of the land. On our visit, we were treated to a whole spread of delicious foods made purely of plants grown on their property. I definitely recommend you experience this one for yourself. Next tip, make sure you book the tours. We booked a few while visiting Bocas del Toro, each leaving us with some of the best memories. For cheaper than the cost of a boat ride to these places, we were able to visit Dolphin Bay, Cayo Corral, Zapatillas, Bird Island, and Starfish Beach with up-close looks that we wouldn't be able to achieve on our own at a few of these places. We had dolphins swim alongside our boat and even got an up-close look at the rare brown booby bird. We highly recommend the tours. The highlight for me was getting to introduce Erin to the wonder of bioluminescence. For the tour we booked, it was just us two and the tour guide, but you can also book a shared tour to save a little on your own experience. I'd love to show you a glimpse of what this looks like and just how special it was, but being that it was on a new moon night, it was too dark to even come close to capturing the magic of this experience. Take my word for it, book the tour. Next tip, rent all the things, or just some of the things, but definitely just go for it. My husband is a surfer at heart, but not in skill, just quite yet. We rented him a surfboard to give it a good try one day on Carinero Island. While Erin got pummeled with the waves, I spent some time at BB's on the Beach, a well-known spot for eats with the most incredible views. P.S. If you go, make sure you order the ceviche. It's the best. Some of the places that rent surfboards also give surf lessons, but keep in mind that the weather and surf have to be certain conditions. We were in town for an extended period and didn't have one day that worked for us to book a lesson, but we learned that's not typical. Just do some research and head to the surf shop right when you arrive if you're wanting some extra assistance in figuring out the perfect time to go. Bocas del Toro is a well-known spot for surfers since there's usually multiple places and levels of surfing to choose from. So whether you're a novice or skilled, you'll enjoy the waves of Bocas del Toro. Okay, next rental idea, e-bikes. If you've never ridden an e-bike, it could be a bit of a learning curve. Don't laugh, but I most definitely ran mine slowly into the side of a parked truck on my first go. But don't let that scare you. After a few tries and swallowing a little fear later, I was zooming right on down the road. Don't plan on going far from Bocas Town? Rent a regular bike. We, however, were feeling adventurous and wanted to go all the way to Playa Bluff. The roads were rough and hilly. Most definitely wouldn't have made it on regular bikes. Lastly, we rented an ATV from Flying Pirates. We decided to drive ours down to the opening of the trail for Starfish Beach and got to appreciate some incredible scenery throughout the journey. We saw local farming lands and some beautiful beaches and waves all along the way. Then there's snorkeling. We brought our own equipment, but I believe I read somewhere that you can rent that too. Some lodging may provide these things for you. 
Our overwater bungalow rental, for instance, allowed us to use their paddle boards. Do some research before booking your stay to see if you can save some money with included perks, just like this. Next tip, check out as many beaches as you can. We mentioned earlier some of the amazing beaches of Bocas del Toro that we visited. There are so many beaches to choose from in this area. However, we were able to enjoy Bluff Beach, Zapatilla Islands, Wizard Beach, Boca del Drago, that's the beach along the walk to Starfish Beach if you're driving in from Bocas Town, and Starfish Beach. No matter which one you choose, it's sure to be a great time. One of the most important things to know is the popular modes of travel in Bocas del Toro are taxis by water and car. Chances are you'll most likely find yourself using these modes of transportation at some point. We originally thought we would pay $1 to $5 per person per trip, but we found out that some places can be much more expensive. Here's the cost we noted during our trip, which of course may change over time. $1 to $2 per person, Bocas Town to Caranero. $2 to $3 per person to Bastimentos. More like $5 if you want to go to the drop-off for Red Frog. It could be $15 to $35 for a private boat from Bocas Town to our Airbnb in Saigon Bay. One day we were able to save about $30 on water taxi fees. We realized the tour we wanted to go on would be boating right past our bungalow. So we just asked if they could swing by to pick us up and it was no trouble at all for them. If you're staying in a remote location like we were, it's definitely worth checking on. Now for regular taxis. Those were one to $3 per person for us. These taxis are shared, so they stop along the way to drop off and pick up new people. It makes each ride cheaper and more efficient. Such a great system. Bring cash with you, as much as is comfortable to carry. Long story, but we arrived with almost none, but planned to use one of the two ATM machines in Bocas to get it. After two hours of panic, a local told us we could get cash back from most grocery stores for a 10% fee. $10 on $100, etc., etc. ATMs were charging $5.25 no matter the amount. Honestly, we were just happy to have access to the cash. Just do as we say, not as we did. So to sum it all up, no matter what plans you make for your travels to Bocas del Toro, you're sure to have a wonderful time. From unique experiences, delicious food, and pristine beaches, this trip will absolutely be one to remember. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new or have questions or ideas for us, make sure to let us know in the comments. Also, like and subscribe so you get a notification each time we share something new. Until next time, wishing you fun travels on your next adventures.